So if you own a Defender, you already know it's noisy, it's bumpy, it's a bit of a pig to drive, and that's fine. If you use it on a farm or you just mainly go off-roading, it doesn't really matter. But if, like me, you use your Defender um, on a daily basis, you drive it on the road a lot, then there's a few little upgrades and modifications you can make to it to basically just make it a bit more comfortable and uh, like a normal car, really. So these are my 10 best upgrades you can do to your Defender. So number one, first thing you should do is get your Defender remapped. This one has been done by Empire Tuning. The guy that owns it is called Gareth and it has completely transformed how the Defender drives. It's even more economical as well, believe it or not, which I've never thought a remap would do, but yeah, it does. Out of the factory, these put out about 120 horsepower, which isn't much considering it weighs the same as a tank. So with a stage one remap, you're gonna be looking at between 165, 175 brake horsepower, which is quite a jump. And it is more just the, the general drivability uh, your phone will improve over the standard OEM 120 horsepower. You can go higher, you can do stage twos, which involves intercooler, exhaust there's a whole range of upgrades you can do but for me a stage one just a, a general remap has made all of the difference i, I would need for what i uh, use this car for number two is to fit lower offset wheels or if you don't then you can put spaces on the reason for that is, again, if you own a Defender, you'll know the turning circle on these things is equivalent to the QE2. It's an absolute nightmare to do a three-point turn in. And by going for a lower offset, you are widening the, uh, the distance between the axles, and therefore, when you try and turn, it turns in better. And uh, yeah, it just it just reduces the turning circle. So this one has got the twisted sport wheels on it, 18 inch. They are an ET0, which is um, basically as, as low as you, you can go to be flush with the arches. You can, if you don't want to change your wheels, you'd be quite happy with them, then just buy a set of spacers. But if you do go down a spacer route, be careful. Make sure you get hub centric ones, because again, these weigh a ton, these cars. So you don't want to be just putting all the weight of the cars on the nuts of the, uh, of the spacers. The hub centric ones have little um, rims on them that the wheels slot into. And it's very important you go hub centric if you do fit spacers. Number three is to soundproof the Defender. Now, I can't recommend this upgrade enough. Defenders are very, noisy especially if you're on a motorway and just a little bit of soundproofing here and there makes a world of difference definitely do down here under there is literally just tin and pretty similar down in the footwells you don't need a huge amount either there's two schools of thought you can either completely cover it in soundproofing material or you can just put little chunks you only need little chunks because it's all about uh, soaking up the vibrations and that's what reduces the sound. So yeah, definitely looking at soundproofing it. I've done quite a bit in here. I need to do all the roof as well. That isn't just to soundproof, that is to insulate as well so that it's not quite as cold um, in here in the winter. Again, if you're on a Defender, you'll know you do tend to suffer from quite a lot of condensation inside the vehicle, which is mad when you think these aren't even that old. But yeah, by putting insulation um, underneath all of this, it can dramatically improve things like that. Number four, fit a removable steering wheel, but also fit a smaller one. This is a much smaller one. This is a Momo Prototipo. Uh, we've got the Optimil removable uh, boss on it. So it's not just a security thing. Obviously, this, it is quite a good deterrent if a scummy thief turns up and sees there's uh, no steering wheel in, in your vehicle when he looks through the window. But also, choosing a smaller steering wheel just gives you a bit more space. And if you're like me, I'm seven foot, I'm not really, I'm six foot one, that it just it gives you a bit more space in here. Um, so yeah, I can't recommend going for a smaller steering wheel well enough it's um it's definitely a a good upgrade i think it's quite nice as well the momos always do good wheels so yeah the prototype of this one is really nice number five is upgrade the suspension this is on my list of things to do with this car I still haven't got around to doing it because it is quite a big job there are a few different um, elements you can do you can either just upgrade the dampers the springs or the anti-roll bars uh, if you just want to reduce the amount of roll then uh, and just, just improve the general handling of the car on the road, you only need to do the anti-roll bars. You've got the front and the rears on the, uh, the newer ones. And it's not even that expensive, probably a few hundred quid to do that. That will improve um, the body roll and just reduce it massively. I'm going to go two steps further. I'm going to do the dampers because that does improve the compliance of the uh, just the handling on the road. You'll notice bump, uh, it's very bumpy when you drive a Defender. By going for something like a, a Bilstein, Bilstein, however you pronounce it, B6, they just improve the, the general uh, handling and compliance when you're going over bumps, speed bumps, potholes, all that kind of stuff. Um, your fillings won't be shooken out at that point. 
And then there's also the springs as well. Now for me, the only reason I'll be changing the springs, it's not really a performance thing, it is actually to lower, <gasps> I know I said it, lower the Defender. Now I'm not gonna slam it, but the rear of the Defender in this one particularly is two meters and three centimeters, I think it is, which is so frustrating because most of the height barriers in everything from multi-story car parks to more importantly, national trust car parks, when we just wanna go out with the kids um, at the weekend, are two meters and it's an absolute nightmare you you literally you're pay, playing chicken you have to go through wife hanging out the window looking at the back to see if you're going to scrape the rear of your, your roof um so yeah you can get i think there are live tuning comfort springs which lower it ever so slightly so again i'm not slamming it don't worry it just it takes the back down by about two or three centimeters which is all we'll need obviously that there are going to be people in the comments saying yeah you can just let the um air out the rears a little bit which you can but it's, it's not practical is it every time you want to go through a, a height restriction a very good tip that someone gave me in the comments a while ago and i love this one is to uh, if you've got an aerial on the front pull it up and make sure you set it to exactly two meters or two meters and one so you'll know if you're going through if your aerial catches at the front then there's no chance your rear is going to go through so thank you that's a really good tip i like that one Number six is to upgrade the headlights. The headlights on a Defender are literally, candles put them to shame, they're that bad. So this one has got the LED headlights. And again, you need to be careful which LED headlights you choose. If you get them from eBay and they happen to be Chinese rubbish ones, they won't even pass an MOT. So make sure that the LED headlights you get are good and from a reputable supplier, whether they're CE marked or whatever it is, I don't know, but you do need to be careful. Otherwise you might find you'll, uh, you'll have an MOT failure on your hand. But yeah, the improvement is massive. In the dark now, you can see much further, especially with main beams on, it's just no comparison, really good. Definitely recommend getting an LED headlight upgrade. Number seven is to fit one of these. This is going on next week when it's going to get serviced. It is called a LOF power spring that you attach to the clutch pedal. Now, uh, it literally is just a stronger uh, spring because the uh, the clutches on the Defenders are just notoriously heavy. Uh, this, again, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to install. If you're an indie or a garage owner, if you're like me, other people apparently have spent hours and they've ripped their fingers off and um, just ruined tools doing it. So for the sake of, you know, 10 minutes of labor or 15 minutes of labor, the guys um, at the garage are gonna fit this for me. And uh, yeah, I'll report on that in another video, but I'm looking forward to it because I've got a bit of a, a dodgy knee and uh, happens to be my left knee. So yeah, when I'm on long journeys, it does cane a bit. So yeah, having a lighter clutch, hopefully will be an improvement, we'll see. Number eight is to layer up on your security. These things are just thief magnets and there's loads of them getting stolen. It's so frustrating, scum, absolute scum. So yeah, you don't just wanna have a tracker, you don't just wanna have an immobilizer, you wanna layer up so that it makes it really difficult for anyone to steal. Even things like the, the doors, um, they can just be uh, buzzed off. So yeah, you know, look at security hinges, security bolts, just everything, unfortunately, is a bit of a theft magnet on Defenders these days. Um, they are lovely cars, but yeah, the thieves love them too. So look at everything you can to improve your security and uh, that way you, you won't lose your Defender. Number nine, change the head unit and the speakers. The head unit, the Land Rover supply is just a complete joke. So uh, like with me, I've gone for a nice Kenwood system and it's, it's much nicer. It's got Bluetooth so I can make calls and uh, you can play Spotify through it. It's, it's much better. Some people go for the, the ones that flip up like this or you can even fit a double DIN um, panel here so you can then put a, uh, a proper screen in if you want to. But for me, this, this does the trick. You know, I can play Spotify and uh, yeah, highly recommend changing that. Again, the speakers are shocking. So I've upgraded to, uh, I think the Pioneer speakers and I've got uh, some big speakers in the back as well, but it's all irrelevant unless you soundproof it. Otherwise you won't hear a damn thing when you're uh, out on the motorways. And finally, number 10, change the windscreen wipers. You won't know about it until you find yourself in a torrential downpour. You put your windscreen wipers on and then not much happens. It just moves all of the, uh, the water around without actually getting it off the screen. So uh, the, the recommended windscreen wiper upgrade are Bosch Aero Twins. They just improve the, uh, the, the wipage <laughs> are much better compared to the standard ones. So they are my 10 essential upgrades I highly recommend doing to your Defender. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, drop some comments, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you again soon.